Oh, son, quitting all your vices will not make you happy. I've quit almost all of my vices two times. Right now is the second. Back in 2020, I would found self-improvement, went down that whole rabbit hole of all these YouTube channels and shit like that, pretty much telling me that every single habit I was partaking in was bad. And I had a main goal at the time. I was a virgin, underachieved, and I wanted to chase women, and I wanted this fulfillment, and what ended up just being a sense of validation because before I didn't think I was enough. So it all enveloped, and I did all this research and put into practice, lost over 100 pounds, all this shit, and it culminated into, into a three-month chunk of time where I had quit all of my vices that I had chose that I had written down written down on a list and chose that I didn't want to partake in. That was weed, alcohol, pornography, and video games. These are the four that everybody talks about wanting to quit. Now, for me, the reason why I wanted to quit weed was because it was a crutch that I'd leaned on since I was fucking 13 years old. Started out as just a fun little thing, then fun to do with friends, and the beginning of high school that ended up blossoming into something that I could not eat without, something I could not sleep without, something that I could not have fun in any fucking facet of life without, oh, I can't go do that, let me smoke real quick. Couldn't even go to fucking school without it. So, that was one I wanted to quit. The next one was alcohol. And a couple factors from alcohol was, one of them was the weird feeling I had a, I had a habit of always, every time I drink, I'd have to drink till blackout or it wouldn't be enough and all this weird shit. And it was mainly from a health standpoint and I'd done research about how it's poison and I'd found all this out. So that was why I wanted to quit alcohol. Then was pornography. Now pornography, I for me, the start of wanting to quit pornography was, oh man, you beat your meat and all this, if you stop beating your meat, you get all these superpowers and all these videos, these, all these 2020 era videos of NoFap that would teach you. And for me, in the video games was, all these self-improvement people that I'd watch tell you that it's lame and you're a loser if you do it. Now these are all the beginning contingent points that I had believed to why I should stop. And eventually, over time, uh, the weed, the first, now this is just the first time I quit it. This isn't the present moment. But then, the way I quit weed and video games were not that hard. I just moved away from my friends and moved up to my grandparents' house, my grandpa's house, lived there, bunked up with him, worked construction. I was 18 years old. And... I had this dream of chasing women, so I just allocated all my time into that one set goal. Now, the alcohol, this one was a harder one that I, alcohol and pornography were the harder one of the two, until I completely dropped off pornography. I just dropped it like a bad habit one day, as you would say, and didn't touch it. And then the alcohol, it was hard because there was all these, oh, it's a culture of working construction, or drinking a beer when you get off, and so on and so forth. But eventually, I did for this good little chunk of time and the video games like I said just from the weed I had moved away and I stopped playing with games with all my friends and I'd put in the key to all of this is I put all my soul pro focus and time into chasing women now I went from a virgin to having a body count of like 10 and all this shit within a three month chunk of time and I made a lot of progress it didn't fulfill me in any way. Chasing women is hedonistic bullshit. It will not fulfill you. All these red pill faggots and shit like that are like, oh, you got to have 50 women in your notch count and all this shit. It does not fulfill you. The red pill is gay. The only thing chasing a bunch of women and having meaningless sex will do for you is get validation from other fucking dudes. That's realistically. Just like you think working out and getting muscles will build you this body that women will love. Whenever you actually do it, you realize it doesn't do anything but gets you fucking validation from dudes. So, that's a little side note. But, I quit these habits. Then I moved back to where I was living, and for all the way until about six, all the way until about three months ago, 
I'd interchange habits. Now the video game one and the Wii. Now the main one that I quit the whole time, which was easiest for me, was video games. And this should this surprises me, and I don't know why it was so easy for me, since video games was my biggest crutch since I was eight years old. I ruined relationships by spending whole summers in my cave like Gollum playing fucking video games, not socializing with anybody, and it ruined my whole high school experience because I never got out of my shell. Yes, I had good times and memories and that whatnot but I just spent my whole teenage years sucked into this but for some reason I was able to just say you know what I'm not gonna play a fucking video game I'm gonna allocate my time to something else and that was easy for me weed whenever I moved back down there it was kind of like alcohol I always drank less than I smoked but anytime I would do anything I would Stop it for a little bit and then fall back in it. Stop it and do it for a little bit. And that was a perpetual cycle. And then the pornography one. This was something that, like just like uh, weed, I would stop it and then come back to it. Stop it and come back to it. And my, your mind rationalizes reasons to pursue all these things and whatnot. And it really hindered on my self-esteem not doing them. Because I've now had a three month stint again where I have no desires to do them and I feel perfectly fine but it doesn't change the way you really feel like if I drink a drink the next day today I'm not going to tell you that I become a monk whenever I'm completely sober it just doesn't happen you don't become like fucking super enlightened because you don't drink beer or you don't smoke weed it's just not the truth but for me, I choose to stay disciplined with these vices and not have these as crutches because I want to have the full ineptability of my mind to pursue my hobbies. I want to have the full ability and consciousness of my mind, the power, the willpower over my mind to put all of this energy into business, into hobbies, into passion projects of mine. So that's one reason. But Fast forward, these vices would come and go. I'd only played video games for like a two month stint in three years and it was a period where I was in a super depression. I was super out into, I was drinking super heavy. I was super into pornography and it was a two month stint that was, it really hindered a lot of my personal growth. But fast forward to about three months ago. I finally start making these videos very consistently one a day and in a bunch of other avenues as well as working my general construction job and i decided you know what i've been this has been in the back of my mind to try to cancel out all these vices and so so and so forth for so long now i think i should actually do it so i'd already i hadn't been playing video games so that was one vice that since that beginning three-year period i really have not had a problem putting it down so that's one, and I'm going to make another video later on full in depth going over how I quit this. It, it, I don't I don't really know if I should make a full in depth video on how to quit video games. I guess like I could be considered an expert cuz I have used to play them 14 hours a day and I quit them and maybe when I can go back into my memory banks and think of some more insight about them I will, but for right now that was really the easiest one for me to quit and I didn't have to start this time with quitting it. Next one was weed. I don't, I put myself in positions where I will not need to play them. I don't really hang out or spend a lot of my time with friends in real life who play video games. A lot of it, I tried to hang out with people who like to do real world shit. So, that is, and the same with weed. I hang out with people who do not really smoke weed. So, it, the old saying of you are who... Show me your th show me your five friends and I'll show you your future it is true. If you hang out with somebody, you're going to be more inclined to do so. Now, I still, I go to the bar almost every other weekend for karaoke and to hang out with my grandpa and people in town and shoot the shit. It's just a fun social outing. But And I'm around drinks and everyone's pressuring each other to do shots and all this shit. And I still abstain from alcohol. But alcohol and pornography are the ones I have a little bit more of a expertise and more clarity of exactly how I quit them because these were extremely difficult for me to quit. So three months ago I'd completely been able to quit weed and quit video games. Now I had pornography and alcohol. The alcohol I didn't really set a clear-cut desire to quit at first. It was kind of like a 
I would come home, drink a couple beers in the evening, and think about these videos. Sometimes I would record them. There wasn't a lot of structure to them and all this shit. And it was just kind of like a vice that I... It was just kind of like an unwinding in the evening type of a thing. So that went on and on. And then the pornography was one that I openly tried to quit multiple times and I would relapse. I would go for three days and then I'd relapse. I'd go for three days and what I can, the thing that I can give credit to of why it did it is in your, in my brain, and I think a lot of people's brains work this way, we run these mental gymnastics of justifications of why we need to do keep doing and pursuing our actions that we're pursuing. And for me, I buckle down on this business shit and I also work a full-time job as a general contractor and a trade and a skill, which I encourage a lot every young man out there to try to gain some sort of a skill. But I'm pursuing all these avenues and I know that the alcohol and the pornography is hindering me and I want to quit and I keep I keep fucking up and all this shit until one day I completely stopped drinking. I just gave it up. It was in the middle of the week and I would drink a beer with my boss after work and all sorts of shit, but I just completely gave it up. And a lot to it had to do with like religious influence. I had seen all these people abstaining from it and disciplines and certain religions and stuff and I was like oh that's real interesting let me practice that so I did and that was one of the things that helped me with alcohol but my brain was still making all these justifications for pornography because I chose through these religious avenues I'm a Christian Christ is king I had chosen to stop hedonistically chasing women because it really didn't give me the satisfaction that I wanted it that I craved from it so I was like you know what this is this goes against my religion, all these bad things, and I would quit chasing women, but then in my brain it justified it like, you're a man, you got all this testosterone, you need to release, you need to release, and I was like, you know what, is pornography, re is beating your meat really that bad, it's kind of natural, it's a release, but see, I wasn't just beating my meat, I was watching porn and all this shit, and I just had to cut it out completely. So one day, I sat down with a pen and a paper, pen and a piece of paper and wrote down the cycle that I was perpetuating. There's a habit loop that perpetuates itself over and over. Now in this book, it demonstrates a four step process of a habit loop that goes over and over and over that causes you to keep repeating these bad habits. Now, there, it, the four steps are Q, which is what causes you, what you repeat every day to start the loop. The craving, you getting a sense of a craving of wanting to do something. One of these bad habits for me was beating my fucking meat. And then three, the response, which is you actually doing the fucking deed, jerking off, and then you get the reward from it. And th that's the fourth step. And I add in a fifth step, which is regret. Regret of doing it, and then you do it again the next day. Repeat the cycle of doing something that causes you to partake in a certain action that results in a reward, and then it results in regret. For me, what was my cue? I'd get home from work tired as fuck and stressed out and I'd need a release. So I'd sit down and I'd start scrolling TikTok until I found a model, uh, until I found some sort of OnlyFans girl and I'd go to her Twitter and if she was hot enough and met my expectations, I would jerk off. So what, what outlines this cue? The cue was me sitting down and scrolling on TikTok on my phone. What was the craving? The craving was me getting horny and thinking that I needed some sort of a release. The response was me actually finding the picture and fucking touching my dick and jerking off to it. The reward was the little bit of dopamine that I got from it to be like, ah, that was it. And then after that came step five regret where I'd be like, why the fuck do you keep doing this shit? Why do you keep doing this shit? And that would perpetuate over and over and over again. Same thing with alcohol. What was my cue? The cue is me sitting down with all the old men's drinking beer. Then the craving comes of, oh man, I'd really like a nice little buzz and that's uh, the beer tastes pretty good. Then the response would be going over there, cracking open the lid and chugging back a beer. Then the reward is me sitting back like this, all buzz. Those were the things. And whenever I finally sat down and wrote down what I was doing, I realized the perpetual loop I was in and I was able to cut it out. And now here I am, three months sober from alcohol and weed, not playing video games, not beating my meat, pushing it all into this passion project that I have to inspire young men. 
And now that I have Jesus behind me, I don't have all this confusion with the meaning of life. So it can all go straight into this besides the times I spend as a general contractor. But what did I say at the beginning of this video? Quitting all your vices will not make you happy. All these comedians, Theo Vaughn, uh, Steve-O and all this, you hear people that are sober, you hear people call in, be like, man, I'm struggling so hard being sober. Da, da, da. Being sober is not the answer to your problems. Being sober is a tool you use to cut out all of the time you're spending doing these things. It's all about time allocation. You're cutting out all the time you're spending this. For me, it was an hour I would spend jerking off to porn. For me, it was three hours I'd spend hanging out drinking beer. For me, it was 14 hours in the day I'd spend playing video games. For me, it was fucking 14 hours I would spend high smoking weed. And the reason I think why weed and video games were so easy for me to quit is I've always understood time allocation. Though the time that I would spend video games on video games and weed, it was easy to cut out because the time I would spend on video games and weed, it was easy to cut out because I understood I have a very addictive personality. I'm not going to play this shit for an hour. I'm not going to smoke weed and it go away in an hour. I have to spend a lot of time doing it to enjoy it. So those were easy to cut out. But see, the pornography and the alcohol, to me, in my brain, it rationalized and justified it as quick easy little tools to take a release and have fun that won't affect too much of my time i can still get my shit done but see what happened was the quality of my work declined because i had this time that i should have spent making a better edited video i should have spent getting more rest and sleep and whatnot and going to the going to my construction job more enthusiastic so then the whole day would turn out better but no I spent it on bullshit. And another thing, I use religion as time allocation. Christ is king. I believe in religion fully. But I was sp I've been spending hours and hours. It's another thing I was addiction. Consuming all this philosophy and meaning of life shit and literature on it. And then I realized, if I just accept a blind faith in Jesus Christ, it simplifies all this. And then I can focus even more into my business. And then I can use Jesus Christ and Christianity as a backing to push my message and actually have a positive impact on it besides just trying to make money off of incels online. So, at the end of this video, to sum it all up, if you read this book, it will help you. Or just use my analogy to identify what your habit is. Second of all, and most importantly, it all comes down to time allocation. You're not going to grow fucking, uh, you're not going to get a thousand times more testosterone and grow wings like they say you will from NoFap. You're not going to become an intellectual genius, uh, super awakened individual from quitting alcohol and not smoking weed. You're not going to become some fucking Mr. Bitches because you don't play video games anymore. The true fact of the matter is you have more time to allocate to things that are more important to you. So, if you like my message and shit like that, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Chase paper and enjoy nature, old son. Christ is king. Have a great fucking day.